Welcome back, everybody, to the 2019 National Co uh, College Dodgeball Championships. Um, I'm sitting here with Felix Peroni, president of the NCDA. Yeah, um, for having me up here. What a great tournament going on so far. Yeah. I'm loving the gameplay. This is competitive right from the start. Um, but I think what I'd love to talk to you about is what's the history of the NCDA? Sure. I mean, how'd you guys start? I mean, you've, you're a legacy player. You're yeah. also, you've been invested as an alum, and, and this is a big deal for you all. Yeah, absolutely. So the uh, NCDA dates back to 2005. Uh, Alex Bomas, who is the founder of the NCDA, he started the club at Michigan State University. And that kind of kicked who everything we just off. saw. I yeah. Mean, yeah, we just saw a great performance. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's crazy because uh, he came in yesterday for the first time in a while to Nationals. Wow. And he was so amazed at the progress that the league has made and uh, where we've taken strides to, to improve upon his original rule set. Uh, he made comments before saying, you guys can get rid of some of these rules. We just made them up. <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying it's like you guys can adapt a little yeah. bit and start really sort of, you yeah. know, yeah. And molding well, we the league. Yeah, and we definitely have. Uh, so over the last several years, we've made a lot of really great rule changes that have sped up the game, made it more competitive, made it more fun to watch. And um, we just keep going in the right direction. I'm really excited with the, the progress that this organization has made. Well, I, I've loved the tournament so far, and I think you guys have a great league um, gameplay. The integrity of the players has been astounding. Um, I love the feel of dodgeball. I think that's what we've been talking about a lot, which is, this is a great group of people, yeah. and and this is the the gameplay here is pretty is pretty intense, but everyone manages to stay pretty pretty friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Dodgeball is a unique community. It, it draws in a lot of interesting people, and you can kind of imagine that when when someone comes up and says, "I play competitive dodgeball," you could see they may have a little bit of a, a personality quirk, but <laughs> yes. everyone has a heart of gold. Uh, I really love this entire community. I've been involved with it for uh, this is my 11th nationals uh, since 2008. And um, I'm one of the founding board members of USA Dodgeball as well, Fantastic. which is kind of the governing body for all dodgeball in the United States. Now, how did you come into this um, when you came into college and, and you were looking for something to join? Mm -hmm. Did you already know about dodgeball? Um, I'm kind of asking this again because I'm always curious about how we can get more people involved in the NCDA. Yeah, no. And you're coming in freshman year and you're looking for a group to join. Why is the NCDA such a great uh, league to be a part of? Yeah, so uh, to answer your first question, how I came about it, I played in a competitive league in high school for four years, and um, then when I went to college, I was like, yeah, I'm going to start a dodgeball club. I think that'll be fun. That's but fantastic. luckily, there was already one there, so yes. I didn't have to do that work. Um, but where'd you, And where did you end up going? I was at Western Kentucky University. Okay. Yeah, so I played for six years there, getting my master's and my bachelor's degree. And uh, in 2014, I graduated and just took over an administrative role. But if anybody else out there is interested in starting a club at their school, we can absolutely help you out. We have great uh, staff members who are, are dedicated to retention and recruitment as well. So we have Jacob Lesky, who I think will be on camera a little bit later to talk about the expansion of the NCDA. Yes, yes. But... Um, if, if anybody's interested, we're on all social media platforms. It's NCDA Dodgeball or National Collegiate Dodgeball Association, and then we also have our website ncdadodgeball.com. Now, this is what it's this is what it's all for, yeah. right? I mean, this is uh, tell me a little bit about the legacy. What's the name of this trophy? I mean, is there have you guys given it some sort of name? Anything? Yeah, it's it's just the uh, the Nationals Cup. The um, Nationals Cup, excellent. Yeah, yeah so um, in, in engraved in it, we have the the founding members of the NCDA and those teams. So um, the first eight schools to actually participate in a very competitive nationals. So 2005 was the first nationals, but there was only five teams. Everyone was just kind right. of getting feeling, their feet feeling wet. the league out. Yeah, and then and then in uh, 2006, these are the the teams for that. No, this and is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's we pass around the trophy. So the trophy itself has a lot of history. It's 15 years old. Um, pretty soon it'll be the same age as the people playing on the court, which is a little scary and <laughs> kind of makes me feel sick and old. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, excellent. No, this is this has been great. I think what uh, what sort of our next matchups that we need to be ready for. I mean, who's who's sort of the big uh, the big ones to come up. I know we got Grand Valley coming up. We haven't seen them on the court yet, but I'm, I'm really excited to see them come up. Yeah, yeah. So um, we have Central Michigan versus Miami, I believe. I'm going to pull out my cheat sheet Let's here. do it. Let's pull out the There's cheat sheet. We've actually cut before. We'll, we'll be able to cut uh, back to, for our viewers, um, the bracket. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get a shot down there to actually see how the teams are advancing on their way to the yeah. On their way to the championship to face what is probably going to be the reigning national champion, <laughs> Grand yeah. Valley. Um, yeah, Grand but you Valley. never know. There could be a big upset. There could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, this will be the first year in five years that we've had a different 
national uh, championship matchup. So the last five years, it's been Grand Valley versus Central Michigan. But the way that it fell yesterday, they're both on the same side of the bracket. So we'll have a different matchup. So we're pretty excited about that. But uh, here on the main court, we're going to have Central Michigan versus Miami. Um, we have Michigan State versus Maryland on our court, too. Oh, another good, another yeah, good matchup. That'll be a really good one. Towson versus Bowling Green State, which is a – I saw that, a rematch of yesterday. Yeah, um, a rematch of last year. Last well, year's I saw them play yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Play they, year, they played yesterday. yesterday. Um, they were facing each other. That was a great game to watch. I got to catch the prelims of this. Yeah. Um, this was uh, – yesterday was the, the seeding of sort of how this tournament – Players, you know, teams could actually make a big play and big impact on how they were seeded in today's tournament yeah. through their play yesterday. Um, we looked at, yeah, we're live on the bracket here. Wow, I can't believe we're already at um, the Elite Eight. Yeah, yeah, so Bowling Green and Towson is a rematch from last year's quarterfinals as well. Uh, it ended in a heartbreaking overtime loss uh, for Towson and Bowling Green advanced to the Final Four for the first time in their, in their um, school's history. And then we've got Michigan State, and uh, they will be playing... Uh, Maryland, as I mentioned before, and then Grand Valley versus Saginaw Valley. So the Battle of the Valleys, they have a, a good, long uh, rivalry, and now what's for it. Yeah, no, this is great. Now, what's the future of the league looking like? I mean, um, y'all y'all want to uh, expand more to have more of a presence on the West Coast. I know you're, there's a lot of teams on the East Coast. Yeah. You're looking for people to start teams. So anybody watching out there, um, I'm looking at you, my alma, uh, my alma mater, ASU. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's get a team at ASU. Um, that would be that would be really good, right, to get yeah. more input from the West Coast. Absolutely. There's a lot of dodgeball playing on the West Coast, but they don't play our actual form of dodgeball. Mm. So we just got to, you know, uh, nudge them in the right direction. Right, right. So uh, hopefully we're expanding to the West Coast and then more to the South. So we have a few South teams, but we can definitely hit the states like Florida, Alabama, Mississippi that we haven't really tapped into those markets yet. Big SEC schools would be excellent. Yes. If we can get an Alabama versus Auburn uh, matchup, that would be <laughs> incredible. That would be pretty incredible. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I think um, we're going to be cutting back to commercial soon before our next game starts, yeah. and then we're going to get another host uh, on here to run everybody through our next game. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Again, the 2019 National College Dodgeball Championships with Felix Peroni, president of the NCDA. It's a pleasure. No, Excellent. thanks thank for having you. us here. This is, this is amazing. I, I love this sport.